All right, we're walking into the reloading room here. Um, there's my two 1050s, all my fun stuff, blah, 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 blah. And I wanted to show you guys this because it's kind of cool. Um, I wanted to do a plate rack in the backyard, but I didn't want to do something expensive and pay 1500 bucks for it. So I made this thing and it cost me about 40 bucks. And it's basically eh, about 50 bucks. And it's all these, uh, the expenses, the most expenses on the AR-15 Ah, excuse me ar500 steel plates and i got them for like 40 bucks on ebay or i forget where i got them something like that and then i just have bolts that are you know that come through the front with a washer in the back with a spring so when these things ring you're gonna be shooting down here in this area this goes back and all the and all the uh the lead shoots straight down straight down if you hit it up here yes it's still going to absorb some of it if you hit here or hit here you might break those bolts however i'm going to have another shield probably that comes over the top but i don't know because i'm pretty accurate I, sh I shoot here i don't shoot like crazy all the way around um and the reason that i used six inch bolts i mean six inch plates excuse me is because uh it gives me a little bit more training rigidity in other words um if I train on six inch plates when I start shooting the ones that are eight inch plates in competition, it'll just be more forgiving and I'll have more confidence when I shoot it. So anyways, if you guys want to do a, a on the cheap uh, plate rack, here you go. Oh, and also how I'm going to stand this up is basically like it's, it's going to be like a sawhorse design. So I'm going to put a screw in here and a screw in here and then you could put uh, like some pipe over each. It'll be on the other side. It'll be coming down. You could stand it up there. And the same thing over here. You know, you can do it like five feet, so it's so it's pretty tall, so it's like up in here somewhere. Um, and you could do a screw in this way and a screw in that way. Okay, and then um, that will be kind of cool. And then that'll that'll uh, pretty much stand up the whole uh, apparatus, and then you could shoot. So if you guys want a way to do it on the cheap, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed that. See ya.